Every two weeks, up to 80 Royal Marine recruits begin their military journey at Commando Training Centre at Linston. During the coronavirus pandemic, recruitment and officer training has continued, but it's not been without its challenges. The uh, initial period was really, um, really difficult um, as we tried to work out if people were affected by it directly or whether we were still very much in the precautionary stage. Uh, but it uh, did drive slightly different uh, joining routines uh, for those recruits and young officers joining us here. Um, we did have to restrict uh, shore leave. Um, we had to adjust our training programmes ever so slightly. Uh, we had to take into account a slightly heightened medical risk um, from coronavirus. But once we sort of became more confident uh, and better at understanding what training we could do and how effective the training could be, actually the last few months have been not easy, uh, but, but much more manageable. Recruits have to self-isolate for two weeks before they are allowed on base. And it doesn't stop there. From the most subtle to the most stark differences to the way they train have been introduced. For example, rope climbing. Uh, we had to sort of nominate particular individuals to climb up particular ropes, um, both in the gymnasium and outside, just so that individuals weren't using every rope in a, uh, a non-controlled way. So something very simple like that, we had to be uh, more thoughtful, plan better. So when they join us, they, they join as a recruit troop and by and large, um, they stay together as a recruit troop. Everything they do is done together. So they share accommodation, they eat in the main galley together. All of their training is done together. Um, the, the crucial bit really is making sure that one recruit troop or a cohort um, doesn't mix with um, recruits or young officers from other cohorts. Uh, you know, around, around Limpston, I probably have about 19 different cohorts and the crucial part is keeping them all apart, uh, albeit within the cohort, they mix very much as a family group. There have been coronavirus cases at Limpston. The base has access to testing facilities with a quick turnaround and three buildings where people can quarantine. Despite the pandemic, if training stopped, the consequences could be felt for years to come. So there's always a demand in the front line, uh, and for us the front line is uh, three Commando Brigade Royal Marines. There's always a demand in the front line uh, for Royal Marines to go off and do operational operations and, and uh, commitments, um, not just in UK but around the world. And of course they are reliant on me uh, training uh, recruits all of the time and passing them through to the front line, uh, and not just recruits but also specialists as well. So. That, that really required me to continue training. As soon as I stop, um, we build what's called a black hole into the system, uh, and that can never really be caught up again. So training for us is 32 weeks long, uh, and whilst we've been able to take a couple of shortcuts, uh, not in standards, but in time, uh, training through weekends and that sort of thing, the training is still very much a finite length, and the uh, syllabus is still very much a set syllabus. So um, if I delay it or pause it, I'm just building a delay further into the system downstream. Adaptability in responding to crisis situations is part and parcel of military life. But coronavirus brings added unpredictability, which means procedures at Commando Training Centre are under constant review to make sure it can deliver the next generation of Royal Marines. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.